Hi everyone, it's Melanie Wynn here. Um, I want to make a new video about me trying this new product um, called um, Sally Hansen's Miracle Gel. I have one step color and I have the um, two step top coat. So the color they gave me is red. And I have the top coat right here. and they put it in this box right here it says home tester club this is the first time I've ever received anything from them so I'm like really happy to try this I cannot wait so I can give my review um, I've seen this in the grocery store I've seen it at Walmart it can be very pricey um, especially at CVS CVS does have it. It can go for like up to probably nine dollars. So I really can't afford that. It's too pricey for me. But I'm willing to give it a try. I'd like to try new things and then give my reviews. So I can't wait to try this new um, Sally Hansen Miracle Gel. I'm really excited about that. And I like the bottles. They're just beautiful. They're kind of modern, so they're definitely up to date with this stuff. <clears throat> In the box, it came with this. Um, also, I have some good news. In a few weeks, I'm going to receive my new camera. I bought on Amazon. It was like $66. It's not expensive. Um, it's going to take a while to get here. It's coming from China, so i got to be patient. The camera did get a lot of great reviews, like five-star ratings. So I, I go on, I get the camera based on the ratings. And I cannot wait to make my videos very soon. And I won't have to use my microphone and my webcam. But I will still use my microphone only when I make regular videos. That's it. And um, I'm sorry, I can't talk straight. I haven't been feeling good for the past few days. Um, my medication's been making me very sick. I've noticed a big change in my body. My antidepressants have been causing my stomach to act up. I've been getting IBS symptoms, and it's driving me nuts. And also, I've been getting very bad migraine headaches, and I've been getting upset over it. I know up, being upset will just make it worse. Um, I did try some chocolate. Chocolate actually does relieve my migraine symptoms. And I'm going to be seeing my doctor, I think, next month. So maybe they can adjust my medication and see what happens. I take um, Bipropium, generic brand of Wellbutrin. SR, it's 200 milligrams, and they don't really help me anyway. My body's so immune to them. I've been taking them for almost nine years. I think they're garbage. They're just toxic, and they're bad for you. I really wish I could take something more natural. So, And I'm not against marijuana, people. I'm not. I believe in it for health reasons. And... Um, I never hear anyone dying from, can from smoking cannabis or get into accidents with it, so I'm all for it. I know some people in my family don't agree with it, but that's their opinion. I respect it. And there's other family members that agree with it. But hey, it helps me, and it also helps my monthly menstrual cramps. It's better than taking a Midol, or it's better than taking um, an Advil. When you smoke cannabis, it actually gets rid of the pain immediately. And it really does, and it lasts for a few hours. It's the best pain medicine out there. So I would just, I'm hoping to stay away from those toxic drugs that I'm taking. Maybe one day I can get off them because they're messing me up. And also they're ruining my life. I don't know how much more I can deal with this because I just had enough. I'm really at my breaking point with these pills. And another thing, no, I don't like going to the doctors. And according to the doctor, I do have white coat syndrome. 
I kind of do. I am petrified of doctors. I kind of have a phobia of them, so I don't go like I'm supposed to because to me, they're going to find something wrong with me and put me on more toxic drugs that my body just cannot handle. I'm sorry. I'm 40 years old. My body's changing. I can't take it anymore. And I don't care what anybody says. I know my body better than anybody else. All pharmaceutical drugs are dangerous. They are toxic. And people get sick from it or they die from it. And no, I'm not, a be I'm not being a hypochondriac. I'm speaking the facts here, what these drugs can do to you. I'm sick and tired of these pharmaceutical companies getting rich off our medicines that are making everybody sick. And no, I'm against vaccinations too. I refuse to get a flu shot. I have my reasons. Sorry if I'm being upset. I haven't been sleeping right. I am kind of miserable right now. Hopefully when I get off these pills, hopefully one day I'll be better. I won't be so miserable and uptight about everything. And a cu my cousin from Facebook, he was telling me, you need to calm down. You're always upset. You need to relax more. He doesn't understand. It's my medicine making me sick and making me uptight all the time. He doesn't understand at all. He really doesn't because he's not taking these crap pills. Unfortunately, stigmatism still is, does exist because people like him are very ignorant or uneducated, I should say. He doesn't have a bloody clue what I have to go through every day. I can barely function. And that's why I don't bother my family half the time on my father's side because they're so bloody ignorant. And most of the time, I just keep to myself in my building because where I live, you have to keep to yourself because people in here can't mind their own business. They really can't. They are looking through the window to see what you're doing. And if they don't like what you're doing, they'll go tell the property manager what you're doing. We have snitches in here. I really don't like people like that. Yes, people probably think I'm paranoid. Sometimes I have to be paranoid. Look at the way the world is today. You have to be paranoid. We live in a very unsafe world. And half the time, I don't even want to leave my apartment because I'm petrified something's gonna, bad going to happen. That's how bad things are. You know, I just don't associate with too many people. I just associate with my boyfriend, my good friend here in my building. That's it. Or my family on my mother's side. I bother with them. I don't bother with everybody. I'd rather keep it that way. I don't need the problems, you know. I had to cut away from a lot of people because they're very negative towards me. They put me down, so I don't need their bullshit. I just don't need it anymore. And I'm getting too old for it. All right, everyone, I'm going to get going. I have things to do, um, so I'm going to say ta-ta for now.